right here. Corner, corner. Okay, go ahead, lay it up then. You, you missed the wide open layup on NBA Live. You missed two wide open layups. Who, am I playing with people with no hands? Cross, cross. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's falling. Lay hey! hey, man. It's that time of year again. When 2K gets a little dry, people start going back to NBA Live and talking about how great it was or how great it could have been. People don't really get into why Live was so ahead of its time and why Live could really come back and be a competitive game nowadays. But I'm about to go on right now. I'm about to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this is the main thing with NBA Live, bro, is the way that you upgrade your player, bro. You don't buy VC. You can literally get everything for free. You have to grind for everything. So if you have a 99 overall, bro, you grind it for the 99 overall. Nobody can just buy their way to the top. So it makes it way more rewarding for having a high overall player, but also at the same time, you don't gotta spend mad money just to get your 99 overall. Everything is free. Literally, it's all skill points. So I have one skill point. I can only come right here to my mid range. I can put plus one on my mid range jump shot and it's gonna give me a 10% accuracy boost on my mid range jump shot. It's so simple to upgrade your player and yet it's free. So this was their version of badges and they had loadouts way before 2K had loadouts on your badges. So you got stuff like beat the press, bullet patch, catch and finish, catch and shoot, corner three. I feel like these are good badges. It's not too many badges for too many things. I feel like right now on 2K, bro, we got too many badges for too many things. These are simple. A beat the press badge would actually be very great in NBA 2K. If we can have a badge in 2K whenever you're playing up against like maybe a sweaty lock in a pro-am, you can beat the press. That would be so fire, bro. But like, that's the thing. The badges make sense. And you don't get too many badges. You get three slots for your badges and that's it. So that makes it so that your player is an OD crazy. So a lot of the gameplay is just straight stick skill. None of this getting bailed out by your badges. And at the time, they did have 2K beat with the hairstyle. They had way more hairstyles in 2K. They had the Uzi. 2K didn't even have these type of dreads in the game for the longest. Bro, they even had the Yachty in the game, bruh. You get the Jerry Curl. Like, they just had way more hairstyles, bruh. I mean, look at this, man. They had the dreads up in the bun. You can have your dreads in the bun. You can have them hanging over your face, bro. There was just a whole bunch of options when it came to the hairstyles, bro. They had the Alfred Payton. I used to rock this all the time. And, bro, the best thing about live is the clothes and the shoes. Look, I got Laker Bape shorts on. Look at how crisp it is. Look at the detail. They had the retro shorts as well. We got Sixers, Spurs, Raptors, Magic. I mean, look at the detail on the shoes, bro. Look at how the light shines off of them. I mean, they don't even look like they're video game shoes anymore, bro. Live was really putting effort into the detail on the clothes and the shoes, bro. Look at the Pure Money 4s. Ooh, they so clean. I'm telling you. Let's see if we can find a game, man. Let's see if we can find a threes game. Now, look at the different options of places I can play. I can play at Dykeman, Jewel League, Venice Beach, Rucker Park, The Hoop Dome, Seattle Pacific. I mean, there's just so many different places I can play and that's fire and I don't got to search around for a spot I just literally get on bro and it automatically puts me into a game with people bro Ooh. yeah bitch you but I got on top for that oh, yeah see me right here right here corner corner okay go ahead lay it up then you bet you missed the wide open layup on NBA live you missed two and wide open layups what are we doing what are we doing right now? This is NBA Live, bro. If you can't make layups in NBA Live, bro, you need to just go ahead and install, bro. You know, basketball games are not for you. Workout. It's my time to work out. Huh. Cross, cross, cross again. Oh my goodness. Where that boy going? Broke his ankles. Hey! Ain't nothing down there, boy. Come here, Joe Budden. Come here, Joe Budden. Where you going? You gotta come guard me. Baldy. Baldy broke his ankles again. Oh my goodness. Where that boy going? Pull up on that boy. You gotta come guard me. I saw him. He in all black. He's not ready to play. He's not ready to play. Where are you going? Broke his ankles again. Excuse me. Look out. Let me. Hey, let me. Welcome to this island. Welcome to this island. Your thing is red, boy. You're not ready to play. You was not ready to play. What you jumping at? What you jumping at? You got your man's helping jumping. What are y'all jumping at right now? Everybody jumping at me. Oh my God. Hey! Oh my goodness, boy. You got lucky. He just missed another layup. He just missed another layup, bro. What are we doing? Who am, am I playing with people with no hands? Or do you have no hands right now? Yeah, I'm not passing to my teammates. I don't care. I don't care. Hey! Get up! Get up! Head tap! Bink, 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 bink. Cross, cross. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's falling. Hey! Head tap! Come on now, man. Yeah, talk your talk. Yeah! Yeah! Play the game. Hey, show me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hitting that, though. I ain't gonna lie. Cross. Oh my god. Cross again. Where that boy going? He's falling on the ground. Excuse me. Hey! 
Hey! I had 13 points, man. Five boards, man. I was really cooking for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Put the team on my back. My boys wanted to leave me. They were garbage anyway. My teammates were missing all their layups. Literally missed two open layups to start the game. I don't understand it, bro. If you can't hit layups and be alive, it might be time to say goodbye to basketball video games. The thing with live is, man, the animations were so smooth. The game was animation-based, but the actual animations were so good. Just the way that the players moved on the floor, especially when it came to the IRL players like Paul George, James Harden, Kevin Durant, all those guys moved phenomenally and also live has always had the edge on 2k when it comes to presentation like always 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 they had the espn presentation have mike green on the mic whenever you play your friend and let's say it's like an east and west matchup it'll say like the finals so you can actually like run like a finals playoff series against your friend so if you're wondering why live just doesn't come back for one they technically can't right now not in the way that they came back before see if they wanted to make another basketball game it would have to be an arcade basketball game it cannot be a simulation nba basketball game and the reason for that is because 2k re-upped on a licensing way back in 2019 and they signed it for 1.1 billion dollars over seven years now that also does bring the question up could live come back in 2026 and yes technically they could but it's gonna be a big price tag for a game that might not make them that money back if the last license was sold for 1.1 billion over seven years it's about 200 million dollars a year we're looking at like maybe 1.5 billion for the next re-up. Now, honestly, that's just money that EA doesn't have to commit to a basketball game that they don't even know how it's gonna perform. Now, this is an idea that I have proposed before, especially now with the college football game coming out in July or June. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's coming out this summer. Why not come out with a college basketball game and just literally make it like NBA Live is? So you can make a college basketball game as far as the rights to the college players, the way that college football is doing it this time, they're not partnering with the NCAA. So it gives them a lot more freedom to do stuff. They're partnering with individual teams. So they don't have to follow whatever the NCAA tells them to do and with the new nil deals it's gonna be a lot easier to make a really good college basketball game as well as a football game so if you can have a college basketball game you get all the teams in there all the players in there and then you had a mode let's say where you're at unc right and you go on campus and you get to play games on campus against other people on campus and then you know how live has venice beach and stuff like that what if you could travel to ucla and play at ucla or you could still play at venice beach or then maybe you could go play at rico hines basketball runs whatever it is there's a bunch of different ways they could do it. But honestly, in my opinion, I think college basketball is a way to go. If they're going to come back with another basketball game. It's going to cost you a lot less money and it's going to spark a little bit more interest in another NBA game because the college basketball game will be the only one on the market. And I think if you're going to do the college basketball game, you might be able to get away with a $70 price tag. But if you're doing an NBA live game, you cannot make that game $70. People are not going to pay $70 for another NBA game. It's just not going to happen. We had a college basketball game not too long ago, actually. NCAA 10 was the last one we had, which I said not too long ago, but that's 14 years ago. But the reason why they discontinued is because the game didn't make them enough money and that's what this all boils down to is money 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 ea probably isn't going to make that much money off the game ea doesn't have the money to go buy the nba license to go make another nba simulation game and if they do it exactly like the nba live there's not going to be any type of microtransactions in the game which means that the only profit that ea will be making off of a basketball game will be off of game sales and for them to do that they would have to prove to everybody that they can make a good basketball product which i believe they can do everybody else has to believe it as well so it's going to take some time to win people over i think Think right now would be the perfect time more than ever for them to come back and try to do something because once GTA 6 drops it's going to shake up the landscape for a lot of things it also puts 2k on the hot seat because if they got a re-up in 2026 when it comes to the licensing and GTA 6 comes out in 2025 they don't got much time to make something shake if people aren't happy with 2k25 they're just going to go to GTA 6 and not think about it twice I don't know that's just what I think man let me know what y'all boys think in the comments I appreciate y'all sticking through this video I've made it this far I am going to be way more active on this channel but yeah I appreciate y'all boys coming through man I'm gonna catch y'all next time